Hey there, welcome to week 9 of Techno Super Bowl 2, full season, special edition. Now, if you're watching my last video, you might have thought it was kind of weird to shut off, like, right when I was showing the standings. That's because my battery died. I guess I didn't check the battery. So now I got my other battery in. And this one isn't showing the battery. But I should have a pretty good charge in this one. Okay, anyways, we're gonna go ahead through week nine. I didn't get to finish showing the standings. I'll do a real quick finish of last video. Dallas six and one, first place. Packers are seven and zero. Niners are six and two. We'll do a more thorough look at the standings after we get into this game. But take a look at the Packers and Bears right here. This is the game we're going to be seeing. I'm, with, I'm the Green Bay Packers, of course. The computer is the Bears. I'm undefeated. They're three and four, so I've got the upper hand here. And since after this game, it'll be midway through the season, because of the bye week, week nine is the midway point. So after this, we're also going to take a look at the player statistics, like the league leaders. Cleveland beats whoever that was. Dallas beats the Bengals. Detroit beats the Giants. Houston beats the Raiders. Chiefs can beat by the Bills. Miami beats New England. Minnesota beats Tampa Bay. Jets beat the Colts. Philadelphia beats the Redskins, Seattle beats the Chargers, Pittsburgh beats Arizona. And now for the last game of the week, Packers and Bears. In Chicago. And those fools returned. Whoops, that was a short kick. So this season, now we're going to see all the interdivision games here for the Packers. So this season we'll see the, we've already seen the Packers play the Vikings. That was week one. We will also see the Packers play, we got the Bears here. We'll see the Lions and Buccaneers, and I'm also going to alternate, so... Like this season, we've seen the Packers and Vikings play in Green Bay, so next season, in Tecmo Super Bowl III Final Edition, the Packer-Viking game will be in Minnesota. This game right here is in Chicago, so next season will be in Green Bay. So we're going to rotate like that. Simmons. Let's see if we can get a safety. Cut, 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 cut. Oh. charged my both batteries, but apparently I must have forgot to charge the one that was in the camera. I need to get some more batteries. I also need to get an independent battery charger. Let's take a look at my rosters in case you haven't watched my previous game you might notice I got Sterling Sharp as a running back that's because he's got the fastest maximum speed he's faster than any of my running backs so I mean my other receivers are pretty decent Anthony Morgan's okay Robert Brooks is in bad condition but he's still a good player Oh, that fool. 
press the wrong button. Okay, so I'm going to have to put West here and Morgan in here until Brooks gets in better physical condition. than the previous game. So they don't have the exact same tune for the road team and the exact same tune for the home team in every game like they did in the previous game. The highest score I've ever had in Techno Super Bowl 3 Final Edition was against the Bears. I beat him, I think it was 91 to 6. I actually recorded that game on the VCR tape. And I used my old, my previous camera phone to record some of the highlights. I actually still have that video, I'm thinking I might upload it to my channel when I get to Techno Super Bowl 3 Final Edition. I didn't do commentary on it though. There was one cool play where I sacked the Bears quarterback in the end zone for safety, and the very next play kick off, I ran it in for a touchdown. seems like when you're get, about to get them in the end zone, that's when they make a perfect pass. I'll have to keep kicking dirty then. Those kicks way at the top where they don't pick up many yards. Terrible back in the days, and Packers are pretty good. It's like early and mid 90s. I had a best friend that was a Bear fan. Me and him used to bet on the pack every Packer Bear game, and every single one of them the Packers would win. I don't think he ever paid me any of bets either. We're teenagers, though. Good. They're, they're suddenly looking like a good team or something. Red, 24, red, 24, 
Look at every single receiver. It's covered. Wilson anyway. Okay, he's running back. Okay, so I'm going to put Ed West down at the bottom here. Move some of them players around. Front player. Leroy Butler, put him in the returner. Being a backup quarterback, you're not going to be quite as good as the starting quarterback. That doesn't mean they had to make him look like a blind high school football player. I mean, he could at least, I'm sure, he's in the NFL and he could still get the pass to the player. Red, 32, red, 32, cut! Sterling Shark jersey today, too. I had this jersey when I was 17 years old, and I'm still wearing it today, 19 years later. Actually, I think I had this jersey when I was 16 years old. Yeah, actually I did because there was a Christmas video me and my friend did. The camcorder was slightly before my 17th birthday. Wow, it's cute. Wow, it's cute. Good, good. I was wearing this jersey. Okay, I'm gonna go with the gold. Actually, let's check my defense first. Gilbert Brown can come in, and Davey can come in, and you know, we're going to have to put Sean Jones in for Reggie White. Bryce Pop's terrible, so there's no point in checking the other players. Butler and Harris can come in, Mike Pryor's injured. physical condition get bad from one quarter to the next. I mean, what's he like eating a Big Mac or something between quarters that he suddenly got out of shape? Blue, 43, blue, 43. Cut, 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 oh, cut, how come cut, I can't cut, audible? Cut, 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 there we go. Cut, Picked fake pass. Seven yard return. Okay, let's see Ted Detmer screw this one up. I 
blame, blame Ty Detman for this one. Everyone's covered. See, how come my defense doesn't cover every one of their receivers? Okay, Ed West just gone for the game. So that's the way the Bears always score in Techno Super Bowl, is their defense scores by a fumble recovery or a touchdown or, or interception. Their offense can't score, so their defense has to do it. Power 69. Reggie White hitting power 69. I never see Reggie White bouncing like that. Maybe Sean Jones is wearing a rubber uniform. That's another thing that annoys me. like two inches in front of the player there's no way he's gonna kick that ball past me it would have gone right through my body or Sean Jones body I should say but there's times where I've tackled game three four I can't remember if it was Techno Super Bowl three final edition or it was one of the games but I broke through and like the last split second they showed me you know right before the cutscene where they showed the ball flying off like a split second before we see me tackle the placer holding the ball. And then all of a sudden, the next thing you know, they show the kick going off, and it's like. That just really irritates you. Blitzed me and I still got past them all. Why would they? Okay, now if they blitz me, that means they expect me to do a rushing play because they picked the same play as me. Why would they have gone for a dime package? It doesn't make any sense. Rushing for my wide receiver. Oh, eight seconds left. Does Ted Denver have any completions at all? I might have to bring Brett Favre back in. Rushing yards minus five for the Bears, 107 for the Packers. They actually have more passing yards than me. That doesn't surprise me though, because Ty Detmer, for some reason, is playing worse than a 12-year-old Little League player. And he's got... I mean... They'll still, I mean, they'll have like Brett Favre throwing a pass right to a player, wide open player, and he catches it. And you get your backup Ty Detmer throwing it to a wide open player, and he's missing it, because Brett Favre's a better passer, but... You can't blame the quarterback for that. It's, that would be the wide receiver's fault. But the game didn't really... Must not have taken that into consideration. It's 
See, this is why I like returning the ball to the beginning, because I know whether Butler's a good returner or not, with his physical condition. At this point in the game, I don't know. I don't have the, the opportunity to check first. See, he's in bad condition now. I would have preferred to have somebody else in there. Whoops. Brett Fire is coming back in. Bennett, Lewis, Chimera, Cod, they can all come back in. Ed West, he failed before, so I'm going to call him out anyway. He fumbled. My, my team fumbles by the sidelines, it goes the opposite way of out of, out of bounds. And just look who turns up recovering it. Them. Red, 32, red, 32. Cut, cut, I hate cut. back in. Reggie White will be coming back in. Don't need the other guys. Bryce Paul can come in. Ralph Buckley can come in. And he will be replacing Butler. Now watch, this is one they're probably going to do a passing play because I am picking a running play. slip and slide, it kept moving. Okay, I don't know my players are blocking me, they're just kind of standing there in the middle of the field. Blue, 
At the end of this quarter, I'm going to go ahead and go over with, take a look at the previous games against the Bears and seasons. I always forget to do that in the beginning of the videos. Huh. Because I want to do one more play before everyone's physical condition changes. Whoa! That guy just ran like 90 miles an hour. The Bears player to catch up. Okay, let's take a look at the, what happened between these two teams in the past. Season 1, we've seen these two teams play in regular season, week 15, and the Bears beat me, 42 to 37. But I came in second place in my division. I had 97 records. The Bears also had 97 record. But I was higher on the points. I had 400 points. And 361 points against me. So. At 367 and 359. So I made it to the playoffs and the Bears didn't. I made it to the NFC Championship in the playoffs before I got beat by the Giants. And in season two, which was just the last season, I ended up tying against the Bears. Okay, I gotta find it here somewhere. Yeah, 14 to 14, I ended up tying against him. That was in, <clears throat> well, uh, I was gonna say that was in Chicago, but in that game, it's kind of hard to tell who the home team and the road team were. Because every stadium had one team name in one end zone and the other team in the other end zone. So you kind of got to judge by who's wearing what jersey, but it didn't always make sense. Some teams you thought were home would be the road, but... Anyway, that game I tied against the Bears 14-14, went goal of 10, we couldn't, nobody could score. That season I won my division, and the Bears came in fourth place in the division. The record was 5-10-1, so slowly the Bears keep getting worse. Whoops. Check my players. By the way, I made the playoffs of course last season since I won my division. And once again I got beat in the NFC Championship. This time I got beat by the Dallas Cowboys. And I gotta bring Ty Detmer back in. Okay, Wilson, Lewis, and Thompson can come in. Butler. I'm going to bring him back. Well, let's take a look at Sharp and Butler's difference. 63 and 44. Pretty sure Butler's is higher. Well, Sharp's speed is higher, but his hitting power is more, so... I'll change one of them. Blue, 
I think that's the first time I have ever gotten sacked by the bears in my life. Nice throw there. Oh, that's going to be way off. They don't give you, really give you much time to line up the arrow. Brown can come in, and Sean Jones can come back in. Don't need him. Rice Prop can come back in. Butler and Harris can both come back in. Now it's time to start getting dirty with them. I'm going to get revenge on them in the next season. I'm going to crush them. Actually, add the highlights. I think what I'll do next season when I'm playing against the Bears, I'm going to add those extra highlights from the previous game into the video that I'm recording. So, because I could just, you know, at the end of the game, I could hook my HDMI cable up and just play it from the computer. None of them could catch it. Okay, I was like wrestling with this quarter quarterback and he still got a throw. Got it to him that, that time. Blue, 43, blue, 43. Cut. Blue, 48. Cut. Okay, two yard gain supposed to be first down. I was third and two. I picked up two. Okay, now that was Robert Brooks' fail.
See, I always start out really good at the beginning of the season. Also, as the season starts going on, I start, you know, barely beating some of the worst teams. And whenever I do lose a game, it's usually to the worst team in the league, or one of the very bottom. Seconds left, let's go for a field goal when we're down by eight points. And he kicks it right through Reggie White's body. Okay, now that it, that really make that much of a difference. We've seen one rain game the very first game of the season. The rest have all been clear. Not that it really matters much in this game because you can't tell, but take a look at the rushing yards. 171 to 40. I'm actually starting to get better at rush, rushing than passing with Sterling Sharp playing this my running back. See, it's lucky I got Sharp as my running back now because it seems like my quarterbacks are just doing terrible, and all my receivers are getting covered the last couple of games. Total yards, Packers, 215, the Bears, 136. First downs, 8-6 I led. Sacks, I led 5-1. No interceptions. Fumbles, 2-0 Bears. Rushing and receiving the Packers. That's not the first time either. He's done it a couple times at least. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the standings now at the end of the week. Buffalo 6 and 2. Patriots and Dolphins 500. Second place, so they're not looking too good. Cleveland tied 6-2. Pittsburgh has the upper hand though, due to points. Two point difference, look at that. Both of them have 164 points. Pittsburgh's got 119 opposing points. Cleveland's got 121, so... Pittsburgh's just up by the two points. And the other teams are terrible. Nonetheless, Seattle 6-2. Starting to get the upper hand there. We had most teams pretty close, but Seattle's got two games up on them all. Down here, Dallas still seven of, or still in first place with a 7-1 record. Pulled up a couple games behind him. I think it's no surprise there who's gonna win that division. NFC Central Packers undefeated 8-0. No. 
I won six of those eight games, two of them were won by the computer. Minnesota, five and three ranking. Well, three games remain, so I feel pretty comfortable right now. Bears, Lions, and Buccaneers all doing terrible. 49ers in first place, Saints right behind them, Falcons right behind them, Rams slowly dropping away. Let's take a look at the other stuff. Team rankings. So on offense, the Vikings have the most yards. 2,851, I'm in second place with 2,793. If my passing would have been a little bit better in the last couple games, it probably would be in first place. Passing yards, I'm leading 2,219. Top. Rushing yards, I'm probably at the bottom. No, I'm actually 25th place out of 28. If I had put Sterling Sharp as running back in my last few games, I'd probably be at the bottom. Let's take a look at defense. I'm in second place there as well. I stopped one thing, or I contained them to only my opposing teams to 1,797 yards. Passing, I'm in fifth place, 1161. I'm rushing, I'm in fifth place. But overall, I'm in second. Browns are in first. Let's go to NFL leaders. Passing. Brett Favre in first place. Steve Young right behind him. I have no idea who Meyer or Mirror is for Seattle. But they go by rating, 188. I'm not sure how they rate him. Touchdown passes. Favre believed 28. Steve Young's got 19, Warren Moon's got 17, Dan Marino, Stan Humphreys, Joe Montana, John Elway, Troy Aikman, Jeff Hosfeller, Jim Kelly, all famous quarterbacks in that list right there. I mean, famous enough that I know their first name. At least interception percentage. Meyer of Seattle's at zero. Brett Favre's only 2.3 percent. Touchdown passes, far oh, I think we already looked at that. Completion percentage, Warren Moon, means 70.3%. Yards per attempt, far of 16.7. Warren Moon and Joe Montana, real close. Let's see total yards, Brett Favre, 2,171. Receiving, Jerry Rice. Sterling Sharp raping, in second place right behind him. That goes by, that's by reception zone, I mean. That depends on who the quarterback chooses to throw to, so that's not... You can't get full credit to the receiver on that one. Yards per reception. Lewis and Sharp are on, made the list. Fourth and fifth. Touchdowns. Sterling Sharp with 13. Mark Chimera is also on the list with 8. So is Robert Brook with 5. So the top 10, we got three Packer players up there. Longest. Hill with Arizona, 72 yard. That was probably in the last game we've seen. The last video, because I know Arizona had a real deep touchdown, and I'm not sure how many yards it was. Sterling Sharp's in second, though, was 67. Yards per reception, Winans of Washington, 54. He probably had one reception for one really good catch. Rushing. Emmett Smith, first place. Barry Sanders, second place. No surprise, both of those players run like 200 miles an hour in this game. Just wait until we play against one of the two teams.
against the New York Giants week 17, so we'll get to see Barry Sanders next game, next video. Emmett Smith will see the last, last week of the week 17. We've got three games that week. Touchdowns go to Emmett Smith. Yards per attempt. I see Sterling Sharp up there, but I just put Sterling in recently, so he hasn't had much chance. Longest. Look at that, Sterling Sharp in second place for the longest, the second longest run, 41 yards. Ricky Waters of San Francisco has got one yet, one more yard. Let's see attempts. Let's take a look at this one. He's still on trips only got 28 attempts where you get some players with 108 attempts. That's why. Scoring overall. Sterling Sharp leads with 102 points. 17 touchdowns. Those are receptions combined with running. Take a look at extra points. Chris Jackie with Packers leads 39. Field goals. Chris Jackie, I don't think he even made the list. Yeah, so Chris Jackie must not have made a single field goal at all. Of course, I only remember kicking one, and that was last game. Punting, Barnhart of Saints. Never check this out, punts. Look at that, Mike Punter. I didn't have a punter then. I got a generic name, Punter, just Packers. Only three punts. But being in last place and punting means that the rest of your team's good enough that they don't have to punt that often. Interceptions. Robinson's in first place. Lee's in second. Touchdowns. Oh, we have four touchdowns. Holmes, Hoskins, Crockett, and Cox. Yards. 103 for Williams, Cincinnati. Six. I cannot believe Reggie White's not in first place. I guarantee you in Techno Super Bowl 3 Final Edition, he'd be doubling whoever's in second. I got eight. Tackles, Junior Sale. Junior Sale always seems to be in first place in tackles. This is Techno Super Bowl 3 Final Edition. Fumble Force, Rounds, Leads. Come Returns, Chargers for San Diego, a generic main player. Strolling Sharps in third place, averaging 14 yards. Touchdowns, usually we don't see too many punt return touchdowns. Longest homing of Houston 27. Kickoff returns. We might see some touchdowns here. Leroy Butler's at 10. Harper's 1. Harper's in first place. He's only got one return, though. He just happened to have one lucky return. It's not fair. No touchdowns. Gray of Detroit's got the longest. So by this time in Tech Super Bowl 3 Final Edition, Leroy Butler probably have about 5 or 6 touchdowns on kickoff returns. Jets of the Jets with 700, another generic player. So yeah, Leroy Butler's in second. Pharrell Buckley's in sixth. Anyway, that was our individual leaders, NFL leaders. Hope you enjoyed all that stuff. Next week's schedule. The next video, we'll be seeing Detroit at Green Bay along with the auto skipping of week 10. So, hope you enjoyed the game. I guarantee the next Packer Bear game we see should be Tech Super Bowl 3 Final Edition. It should be a blowout. So, by the way, I've been to two Packer Bear games in my life because I've never added that. 
Only two NFL games I've been to, unless you count the preseason game. I've seen the Packers play the Jets in Madison, Wisconsin once. But otherwise, I went to two professional regular season games in Chicago. Because my friend was... Another one of my friends is a Bear fan. So me and her went to... 1999, went to the Packer Bear game in Chicago. And then in 2000, we went to the game in Chicago. Both times, Packers beat the Bears in Chicago. That same season, the Bears, both of those seasons, the Bears beat the Packers in Green Bay, so. And it was kind of miserable, though, because the weather was so terrible. Both seasons were really cold. The one season was freezing rain. And it was, like, impossible to enjoy the game in that kind of cold weather. But, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the game. See you in the next video.